This is Rubio Monocoat Stains. Let me tell you a story how I figured this to be the best stain I ever used. Let's start this story from the beginning. I'm gonna stain this red oak vanity in the color chocolate, a dark stain. I'm gonna start by removing all the door fronts. I'm super excited to get this vanity stain and get some contrast in this bathroom. One of the most important aspects about home design and artistic expression is contrast and how contrast can be used to transform something ordinary into something of visual interest. In the past, I've used many different brands of stain and I'm excited to use Rubio Monaco for the first time. At this point, I had all the door fronts labeled and removed. I was ready to move on to the next step. But first, let's talk about something. Let's talk about why Rubio Monaco. This is a question we asked ourselves. We had to make a pro and a con list, the old fashioned way, with pencil and paper. Michelle and I are indecisive, so this helped us clear our head. Here's the pros, superior stain formula, one coat application, water resistant, and a natural look. And for the one con, the price. For us, the pros outweighed the cons. Let's get these notes scanned in digitally. And now let's go pick up some stain from the woodworking store. And that's gonna lead us right into the prep stage. For this project, we're gonna need 220 grit sandpaper, a hand sander, a random orbital sander, a random squeegee, some application pads, a tack cloth, chemical dust remover, and some stain. Right now it's 11 a.m., let's start sanding. For any wood staining, it's important to get a nice even surface so the stain doesn't have any blotching. I'm gonna mostly use the power sander, but I'm gonna contrast that with some hand sanding too. The best of both worlds. And I also need occasional rest break for some caffeine. Well, everything is sanded, let's get this dust cleaned up. A little hand wiping and chemical removal. Rubio's chemical removal works super good, no dust at all. Well, I'm looking forward to this one coat application, except uh, I forgot one thing. This stain takes 21 days to dry. I need to go pick up the accelerator. Let's jump right into the staining. So with this accelerator, it changes the dry time from 21 days to just five days, which is well worth it in my opinion, because I'm impatient. With this staining process, I've read a little bit that this stuff goes a long way. And this is great given it's more on the expensive side, but I'm thinking it all evens out because it's only a single coat. In the past, when I stained my stair treads, I had to use various methods of timing how long the stain sits on the wood and how long I wait before another coat. That's a major contrast to Rubio where it's only one coat wipe on and buff out. It's just as simple as that. With this stain, I found myself not having to focus so much on the timing and order of operations, but just simply getting on an even coat. And that right there, that's one of the main reasons why I started seeing this as the best stain I've ever used. It's just so simple and easy to install, and it gives a professional look. Well, right now it's 5 p.m., and we need to wait five days for the stain to dry. Then we can jump right into the reveal. This is our completed vanity for our primary bathroom. And after all this experience with Rubio Monocoat stains, I'm convinced to use it for all future woodworking projects. It's just so easy to use, and it creates a high-end, high-quality look. Now we have some much needed contrast in this bathroom. This stained red oak looks great against our Calicotta Monet counters and with our Brizzo fixtures. Oh yeah, the Brizzo fixtures. That's a story for another time. I'll be back soon.